Hey guys, Vida Kid again, and oh good god, does it feel good to record again? You have no idea. Now, my reason. Now, I wasn't really recording. There was like a six month gap between Cozy and Greasy. My reasoning for that is well, I didn't really have commentary until just now. And yes, it does take me like a few months to get commentary. Don't you judge me. Anyways. In this episode, I was hoping I could get past Flopsy, and hopefully Silky, depending on how long Flopsy takes. Start this up. Oh no! Flopsy, the senior biologist here at the resort, has adapted the shark plant to create another type of plant bear completely. He's called the Gruhel. Watch out! This deadly plant bear will come and hunt you down. I think that Flopsy should discover what it's like to be hunted. So yeah, anyways, what he was explaining was Flopsy has summoned a demon bear named Gruel and Flopsy's demonic creation Gruel is a miserable thing. I think you should make sure that Flopsy is punished at the hands of his own creation. Alright, well basically what he was explaining was in this level you get to summon a demon plant bear called Gruel and you have to make him kill Flopsy. One of the thing is suicide bears. Actually, yeah, this is perfect time to talk to you guys. Yeah. So anyways, yes, this is my first time recording with commentary. Feel free to like it if you wish. I don't really care. But actually, yes, I do care because once I reach the 100,000 viewpoint, I'm going to be playing... Wait. What was I saying? Oh yeah, now I remember. Once I reach the 100,000 viewpoint, I'm going to do a let's play of Sonic 06. Don't ask me why, but I am. Unibear, 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 Unibear. Yes, free suicide. Free suicide. Don't let go, don't let go. Here we go. Now I'm just witnessed the uni bear commit suicide. Yeah, for those of you who don't know what a uni bear is, a uni bear is basically a free way to commit suicide, and it's also free points because the uni bear becomes insane very, very easily. Ah, see, here's another insane bear. Now I'm gonna have Gardner Barker watch Ashwood kill himself. There we go. There's another suicide. Alright, and here we go. I just witnessed Gardner Barker commit suicide. Seriously, who gives a crap about Gardner Barker? Seriously. Anyways. Oh, there we go. There's another insane bear. I'm gonna go over here so Flopsy doesn't go insane. Alright, we're gonna go in the woods. This is gonna be the last suicide, so. There we go. And now I'm gonna basically go on a killing spree, so. Yeah. Now. Ah! Let's see. Burn the leafy. How in the hell did I do that? Anyways, I don't think I've ever shown off that ultra kill before, but if I have, feel free to let me know. Because, well, that's a thing. He's gonna commit suicide. Alright, now I'm gonna kill him with the big aluminum bat, because I don't think I've ever shown that one before. Or have I? I'm not sure. Ah, and now this one's insane. Let's make him commit suicide. And now the last thing we have to do is... Actually, I haven't mentioned this. You need to kill every single bear except for Flopsy in order to do this. Because basically what happens is, well, it gives the gruel less bears to kill. Now I'm going to sneak up behind both his bladder knot. I'm gonna impale him in a cactus. I think I've already shown this one off, but 
Alright, now here's the Gruel. Well, the Gruel is going to follow me, and he's going to kill Flopsy. Hang on. I have to get him to follow me. And here it and here they are. Alright, now I think these two are gonna duke it out. Let me change the camera here. You can actually focus the camera on something. Here we go, I'm gonna get a little closer without actually having him attack me. Alright, I'm gonna do this real quick. Alright, they're still fighting. I don't know if you can see it or not. Alright, here we go. And he's gonna go for the kill. Nice. Now, the thing is with the Gruul, he is very, very powerful. So he could kill me in like four hits. Yeah. Anyways, since the Gruul is a plant bear, we're going to see him get eaten by another plant. So it's kind of like plants kind of forization? I'm not even sure what that means. Anyways, the last challenge I have to do is destroy invites. And because I've already shown you where the invites are, I'm going to cut ahead to when I have done that. So give me a second. Actually, wait, hang on. I'm not going to cut for just a second. Now, these things that are in the way, you want to destroy that. So you can actually get a passageway for when you get the key. And you'll understand why I'm doing this in just a second. Anyways, now I'm going to cut ahead to when I get the key. See ya. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, the key is right where the gruel has been... Okay guys, sorry about that random cut right there. I actually, my little sister came to the house and she rang the doorbell, so... Yeah, I had to go answer the door to let my little sister in. And, um, well, they only give you 20 seconds to do this. Which is just about how many seconds they gave you in the first episode. But if you already know where the temple is, it should be no problem. With this one, I barely made it with four seconds. Anyways, this temple is pretty much the same as the temple in the second episode. But there's no weapon right here, and the treasure chests are a tad bit larger. So, yeah. And, um, well... Yeah. You can... It's an easy way to get coins if you... Anyways, let us exit this level and go on to Silky. Alright, I'm gonna exit the level. Do, 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 do. I found myself saying do 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 a lot when I record. I don't know why though. I know it's stupid. Now you get to see how well I did. Look at that. Platinum. Even though I had platinum on this before. Alright. In this episode, I actually used the aluminum bat for this one. Alright. Now, I'm going to cut ahead to when I choose my next weapon, so give me a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. And, um, well, I am not going to tell you what weapon I used, because I want it to be a surprise. Anyways, let us dive in to Silky and kill him. Welcome to Silky's wonderful mansion. Silky wants to be a movie star so badly. What a shame he has no talent. Look at that fake uni bear horn he wears on his head. He's so vain. We do hate bears that pretend, don't we? Indeed we do. Anyways, for this episode, you remember how I showed you the Silky statue ultra kill? This time, you have to kill Silky on that statue. So this is basically going to be... I think you should break up this party once and for all. You know what would be nice, Naughty, is if you made a spectacle of him on that ridiculous statue of his. Let's see. 20 hit streak, kill bears, and suicide bears. Ah, oh, crap. Anyways, yeah. So basically what he was explaining was you need to impale him on the silky statue that's on the dis disco floor. Anyways, I'm gonna continue hitting these bears so that I can get a hit streak going on. Alright, I'm gonna scare them so they'll be easy to hit. Alright, I'm gonna injure him. 
Now I'm gonna injure Chubby. Alright, only 10 more. There is Stardust. Alright, there's There's Quiddy. Aw, oh, you jerk! You spoiled my spree! Damn it. I might not be able to do all the challenges in this one. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the challenges. I, I can't. Aw, oh, damn it! Ugh. Alright. Actually, I'm gonna make this one commit suicide. I wish I could make Silky commit suicide, but I can't. Alright, now I'm gonna impale Silky on here, so watch this. This one's actually pretty sweet. So, yeah. Alright, now I'm gonna make him commit suicide, and I'm just gonna hit a bunch of bears, so, so I can get my hit streak going. Alright, there's two. This, this part might be a tad bit boring, but I can't really control it. There's nine. Oh shoot, he has a gun. Now, I would have killed him with my own gun if I didn't have to get a hit streak. So, yeah. Alright, just one more hit. One more hit, and I am done. I won't mess it up, man. There we go. Now I've gotten all the challenges. Now I'm gonna go on a murder spree. Alright. I don't think I've ever shown off the rest of Spades Ultra Kills. Heh, <laughs> Hazelnut. Yeah, actually, within this game, there is a mini game called. I don't know what it's called, but it's a game where each person has a honey cola. I think it's beer, actually. And every time a bear vomits, you have to scream hazelnut. Yeah. Now I'm gonna make this one commit suicide. Alright. Now I'm gonna kill these other bears over here. Alright, now I'm going to kill him with the stove. Because I don't think I've shown this one off. Or if I have, I just don't remember it because it's been too damn long. Alright, injured him. And now I'm going to drown this guy in the sink. So yeah. <clears throat> and now, I'm going to go ahead and get the key. Because look, I've already done all the challenges. Now the key is actually behind here with all these gnomes and this silky statue. So you want to go ahead and destroy those and grab this key, and they only give you 16 seconds to do this. Yeah, they are cruel. Anyways, you wanna keep going over here, and then, with four seconds to spare, just like in the Flopsy, let us go ahead and get what's in here. Now inside this temple, there's a bunch of bear traps and stuff, which you want to avoid, and it's very much worth it if you do, because you get a ton of coins. It's like Silky's life savings from all the coins he's got. Uh, ow. Yeah, so that's basically how that works. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit the level and end off this episode. So be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe to join the to join the kids. And uh, with that show you how well I've done. Alright, I used the rusty spade for this one, and you guys pretty much know what I use at this point. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. So, next time on Panic in Paradise, we are going to get past Giggles 
and hopefully daddles. See you guys then. Oh, and also, eat bananas.